Hey everyone, this is Mega Man Legacy Collection. It recently released for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 for $15 digitally. Uh, it's a really cool uh, collection of Mega Man games. It has all the NES Mega Man games, Mega Man 1 to 6. You can play them as they appeared. There's also some historical stuff with it. Uh, there's this music player where you can easily play uh, all the uh, tracks from the games. Um, for Mega Man 2, one of my favorites is Dr. Wily Stage 1, uh, but there's tons of great um, uh, tracks from all the games. Um, Mega Man has one of the best soundtracks uh, of the NES games uh, that I've played. Uh, but there's also this challenge mode here, and these are challenges from all the different games that you can uh, try to get through. Um, as you can see, there's quite a few. Uh, and you unlock these challenges by completing other challenges. Most of these are locked for me because I haven't had a chance to really play through too many of these yet. Uh, but um, let's go ahead and just check out the first challenge here, which is a remix of uh, some Mega Man 1 stages. Uh, it's actually playing through some of the stages, um, parts of the stages, uh, in a row. So this is kind of what uh, the challenges are. Uh, this is a very easy one, though, um, because it is the first. Uh, some of the challenges that I've tried are extremely difficult, um, and you kind of really have to have a deep knowledge of the Mega Man games or follow a guide uh, for each challenge because there'll be uh, many times where uh, you'll have to um, defeat a certain enemy that might be weak to a certain robot's power. and. As you can see here, I'll bring up my pause menu, you can see they actually, for this challenge and many of the ones I played, uh, they give you um, all the, um, the robot master powers. So if you are knowledgeable in which uh, enemies are weak to, um, to which powers, you can uh, complete them quite a bit faster because you will be able to do a lot more damage. Uh, so, if you do die here, uh, either by falling in a pit, or uh, or losing your your um, uh, or losing all of your energy, then uh, you do start back at the beginning of the challenge. So, uh, the individual individual stage for the challenge that is not at the very very start. So it's not that punishing. And as I was saying there, with knowing the games, um, you might have noticed that I used a the guts man ability. Uh, there to pick up those blocks, and if you hadn't played Mega Man 1, you might not know that you're supposed to pick up those blocks, blocks with the Guts Man ability, so uh, some of these challenges really do reward uh, knowledge uh, of, the, uh, of the game. And as you can see here, I died, um, and I respawn at the start of this, uh, this challenge stage, and with full life, and I believe it also refills all of your weapons as well. Yeah, it does. Uh, so, but the clock does keep ticking, and the clock is tied to uh, whether you get uh, bronze, silver, or gold for these challenges. And there also is an online leaderboard. Uh, uh, the um, the and I did get an achievement there for getting my first silver medal. Um, but this leaderboard is online, so you can compete against other players and see how fast they are able to complete it. And that seems like a really cool thing for people who are really masters of these games. And there's some really incredible Mega Man players out there. Uh, but as you can see, there are uh, bronze, silver, and gold for each of these challenges. And completing these challenges will unlock later challenges. And they do get extremely difficult. Uh, as you can see, I'll show you just this one here. Uh, if you don't move immediately, I'll show you one more time. If you don't start moving immediately in this challenge, you will die. You see, <laughs> he uh, spawns right uh, next to you, so you basically have to start moving immediately or he will catch up to you. So some of these are very difficult, and I don't think I will be able to do this one here, so I'll just uh, quit out of this here. Uh, but uh, the challenges do look like a lot of fun, even though I haven't uh, done too much of them yet. So let's uh, go ahead and quit out of that. Uh, as for the games themselves, um, they are basically the NES games. Uh, one of my favorite games was Mega Man 3. So 
this is basically um, what you remember from the NES version of it. There is a password screen. You can enter in a password, uh, or you can just um, go ahead and uh, go right into it. Uh, this is. Um, I'm not going to really play through this that much since um, this is basically as you remember the games, but um, I do want to talk about a few other things with this. Uh, the achievements and the trophies for this, um, they do seem a little bit difficult. Uh, they are tied to uh, getting, most of them are tied to the challenges and getting bronze, silver, and gold in all of them. Uh, the, there is an achievement for beating each game, uh, Mega Man 1, 2, one through six, uh, but you probably can cheese out those a little bit by entering passwords to start near the g end of the game, uh, so those probably aren't that difficult to do, those achievements. Uh, then um, one thing I did want to mention though is that uh, it was a little bit disappointing to me that the uh, PlayStation 4 version does not have a platinum trophy. Uh, that is a big negative for me for someone who really is into trophies like myself. Um, I know not everyone's into trophies, but it really does. It's really not that great when um, a game that is a pretty long game like this does not have a platinum trophy. And I really would have liked to have seen this have a platinum trophy. And But for the Xbox One, it does have 1,000 achievement points. Um, and that was one of the factors that I decided, that I decided to buy the Xbox One version over the PlayStation 4 version was the, the lack of the Platinum. But anyway, this is Mega Man Legacy Collection. I would definitely recommend it to anyone who played a lot of the Mega Man games. Uh, I played it a lot. Um, I had uh, many of them on the NES and played them a ton. Uh, this seems like a really good collection of games, and it seems um, really, really well done. And I'd love to see this for many other classic games. Maybe the Castlevania series, or just anything that um, like this seems like it would be uh, something I'd definitely be interested in and, uh, and would buy. Um, but anyway, uh, I would recommend this. Uh, it's currently $15 on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, and I think there's a 3DS version also that will be coming at some point. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel as it does help me a lot if you like this video. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll see you later.